Hey everybody, this is Trainer Connor, and you're going to be watching another Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi battle video today. If you enjoy this upload, make sure you like this video and subscribe for more epic battle videos. So, this is an epic battle between myself and Gold, aka at Ninten Hero on Twitter. I don't think we've battled since, I want to say, black and white. So that's a very long time if you think about it because we went through black and white, black and white 2, X and Y, and now we're in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. So, very long time. And so, we're back at it. This is a very interesting match as you can see here, the team preview screen. I'm bringing Garboger for the first time. I've never used the Garboger. It has toxic spikes and gunk shot, explosion, and spikes. I'm testing out a life orb shiny Kiram I got from the GTS. I Lumberry NK defensive chestnut air balloon excadrill and defensive slowbro. For my op opponent here, um, I would probably say the main threat is going to be Clefable, uh, mainly because, like, I, I do have a couple of things for it, like Garboger, uh, can hit Clefable with, but we've got Pokemon that will just take care of Garboger, like, Delphox here. So, that's what happens, uh, he starts off with Delphos, and I start out with Garboger. I, I was not sure what he was going to do, if he had Psychic, he could have gone for that. I have a Focus Sash, he actually hits Hypnosis, which never works for me. Uh, he puts me to sleep, I'm like, crap, because now he can switch out, go into Kingdra, set up the rain, and maybe sweep with Kingdra, I'm not really sure. Uh, he goes with a rain boost, a hydro pump, and that's going to definitely bring me to my sash. And I'm like, okay, can you wake up here, Garboger? I'm forced to go with a gunk shot right here. I could set up toxic spikes, but since I'm at low health, it's better off to fire off uh, gunk shots. So, um, I think my opponent was expecting me to switch out, or no, I mean, keep going for the gunk shot there. So he switches out and goes into his Mega Scizor. I actually switched out and go into my bro here, bro the slow bro. Um, expecting another Hydro Pump. But it's okay. Uh, I actually over predicted here. I thought he was going to U-turn and switch into something that would take care of um, slow bro a little bit better. But he just gets a critical hit plus two boosted from the Sword Stance Bug Bite to take me out. Which is just, ugh, I don't know why I would see that happen. I, I, that was kind of dumb, really. I could have just gone with the Fire Blast and I could have taken him out. Which, I had Fire Blast on that Slowbro. I didn't use it because I over-predicted. So I go into NK here, fire off a Flamethrower, I hit Clefable, and you're going to see just how annoying this Clefable is going to be. Now if you look, uh, Clefable does not have, um, unaware, it has Magic Guard, so it will not take any burn damage, which kind of sucks if you think about it, because I went through all that trouble trying to burn it so I can get a little bit of residual damage there, but I don't get that. I figured he might have T-Wave, uh, so and that's where the Lumberry is going to come in. I do have Entry Hazard, Entry hazard support and uh, the ability to get rid of them with extra drill, so I'm not too bothered by the Stealth Ox being up right now. Uh, I was so close to taking out Clefable right there, as you saw, he went for a Moonlight. I'm like, great. So I'm forced to switch out, go into extra drill. Hopefully he does not predict that and goes with something weird like flamethrower. Because I know Clefable has access to flamethrower, which is super effective. Uh, but he went for Thunder Wave again. 
So that's great. Now I can rapid spend my engine has And that's what's going to happen right here. So that's great. Uh, here's War Turtle. And I'm pretty sure that that thing is going to carry a Eevee light. So knowing that, okay, I can go into Armstrong here. He has Toxic. I'm like, really? Because I know immediately that this is going to be a Toxic Protect War Turtle set. Because I saw this set before in uh, Black and White when I faced uh, Gold back then. Here I lay down some spikes. And that's going to prove to be a very bad misplay for me. Because, believe it or not, War Turtle has Rapid Spin. Uh, I didn't know that at the time. So I just go with the Leech seed after that, and he just goes with Rapid Spin. Rapid Spin will also get rid of the uh, Leech seed, as you saw there, and the spikes are gone. So it's like, yeah, I went through all that trouble, and that was a waste of time. And I take all that unnecessary poison damage. So I'm at a little bit of a disadvantage here. I, you're probably wondering why don't I have a wood hammer? Uh, this particular Armstrong, the chestnut, has leech seed, and that's the only grass type move. Which kind of sucks. Um, I actually switch out into a skull right here. I'm not really sure why. I, I, I was thinking, I was thinking he would. I don't know. It's, it's hard to tell at this point. I literally went into extra drill on two skulls and very obviously I don't get burned which is awesome I can put a lot of offensive pressure against War Turtle here and I can now revenge kill with someone else so unfortunately I have to sacrifice my rapid spinner but I can go into Kiram uh, safely without taking any energy hazards and just fire off an Earth Power. And you're probably thinking, why Earth Power? Well, we all know that Clefable is still alive. And so if I went with a, dra a Dragon Pulse, I can probably, um... I could probably just have Kira, um, get hit with Clefable out here. So Kira, your best bet is to go with an Earth Power and we'll be good. I, I really don't... Uh, you know, I really wish I had Flash Cannon. Uh, that would have been very awesome right now, but I switch out going to Entei, I, I knew he was going to go with a Thunder Wave again. That's really something that I, I can't really stop, so it's just... And the fact that I'm going to get paralyzed over and over, just a lot of hats that just comes in and just ruins the match for me. We see Dazzling Gleam, and that doesn't do any damage, which is just amazing because Clefable cannot really touch Entei, for all I know, unless Clefable has like something weird. I don't know what move he would get, but here he is going to switch out and going to Kingdra. He went with a Dragon Pulse. I think he was over predicting. Uh, because the water type move is really obvious, but I get paralyzed again, and it's like, really, MK? Now's the time to not get paralyzed. I really wanted to KO this, uh, Kingdra. So now, I'm in a position where I have to sacrifice Garboger, uh, and then switch in Kiram, because I know Kiram, unless the Kingdra has Dragon Dance, I can outspeed the Kingdra easily. So I go with an Ice Beam again, I'm a little bit wary of the Clefable switching in. So Ice Beam is going to be my go-to move as far as uh, momentum goes. And now I can uh, pretty much uh, sigh of relief at this point. But after he switched in Hitmonchan, I'm like, okay, does he have Rock Punch? I know he probably has it, and he does have it. I see a lot of Hitmonchan run on Bok Punch, but sometimes they don't. Uh, but we see Bok Punch, I'm like, okay, what can I do about this? Because I know that Kiram is going to be in Bok Punch in the face. I really need Armstrong to pull through here. If I can KO this Hitmonchan, all I have to do is um, fire off an Ice Beam. 
if it has Shock for Fable, and then a few other Pokemon. So if we can get rid of this Hitmonchan, we'll be good. But he has Ice Punch, and it's like, okay, that sucks. But I am a defensive Chestnut. I go with the hammer arm, I will hit that, and I can power your advantage kill with Charon, but I miss. So that kind of sucks, as this game is pretty much over at this point. Uh, I really can't do anything because the Toxic is going to take me down, Charon is going to get Bach Punch in the face which is priority, so uh, even though Kiram is faster than Hitmonchan, I can't outspeed it because Mock Punch is going to kill me. And because Stealth Rocks are up too, just a note. So that was a great battle by my opponent here. Uh, we played really well. I think we played a really nice game there. Uh, nothing too terrible happened except for the hats. Uh, with all the hacks there, I kind of made the match shift towards my opponent. But that's just what happens sometimes. So, I hope you guys find the battle awesome. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you like this video and subscribe. And I will be posting more Wi-Fi battles for you guys in the next few days here. So, stay tuned for more battles. I'll see you next time, Pokemon fans. Have a great day. Bye.